guys, welcome to today's video. Super excited to be filming my Sephora VIB sale recommendations for you guys today. I love filming this video every year. And for the past three years, I have been doing this in collaboration with two of my favorite girls here on YouTube, Melanie from Mr. Kong's Mom and Lisa Stevens. So once again, the three of us have teamed up to bring you guys our recommendations. Of course, I will have their videos and channels linked below. If you don't already know who Melanie and Lisa are, please head over to their channels, check them out, check out their recommendations, subscribe. They are two of my favorite girls, just very genuine, sweet, and those, both those girls have really good taste, so I always like hearing their recommendations. So make sure to check out their videos as well, and let's go ahead and get started with my recommendations. So I do have one skincare item, probably no surprise if you've been with me for a while, I love, 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 love the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum or Boom Boom Cream, depending on how you'd like to pronounce it. Um, this is so, so addictive, fair warning, um, but I definitely plan on stocking up on another one of these larger containers. During the sale, I first purchased a smaller container, I think at last year's sale. I went through it pretty quickly and I bought this larger one. Oh, it's the smell that really gets me with this stuff, you guys. It is highly nourishing though as well. I put this on my legs after I shave them and they just feel so soft and smooth. It does have just the slightest bit of shimmer. I don't really notice it unless I'm outside in the sunlight, but just be aware there is a little bit of shimmer in here. This smells like a gourmand sort of treat. I'll put the notes below. It is unbelievable. There's actually some sand in mine because I took it to the beach with me. I just saw that. Anyway, this definitely is a little bit more of a pricey item. I think it's around $50 Canadian, so definitely a splurge, but 20% off is a great time to grab it. Um, I love it because not only is it a great moisturizer, but it also doubles as a fragrance. Like every time I wear this, people always ask, what perfume are you wearing? And it's, it's just the moisturizer. So um, I absolutely love this. I'll definitely be grabbing another one and highly recommend checking it out. And while I'm talking about the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, um, if, if you already have it and you don't have the body spray, these two layer together perfectly. If you're not someone who likes moisturizer but you love the smell of this, again, the Brazilian uh, Crush Body Fragrance Mist is amazing. I actually just wanna kind of squirt some on me now because it's so good. It smells just like the body butter. And what I like about these is that they definitely have a nice scent, but it's not overwhelming. I don't think you're gonna give anyone a headache or offend anyone by wearing it. Um, and this is a body spray, it's not a perfume, so it wears off throughout the day. It doesn't have the best staying power, but I don't mind refreshing, and you get a ton in here. There's 8.1 flowing ounces. So both of these definitely recommend. While we're talking about fragrance, I do have one other fragrance recommendation. This is actually a kit that I picked up about a month, month and a half ago from Pinrose. They are a cruelty-free, um, fragrance brand and I picked up this little rollerball set that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of their fragrances. I love all of these. Some of them I definitely love more than others, but there's none in here that I wouldn't wear. Um, I keep them in this little container because I think it's really cute. One I took out and I just carried around in my purse and I like to touch up with it from time to time, but this would make a beautiful gift. It's got this beautiful like holographic packaging. Um, and it's just a great way to experiment with the different Pinrose fragrances. They layer together beautifully, um, or you can wear them alone. My favorites are definitely Merrymaker, which is more of a fruity, sort of flirtatious kind of scent. Um, I also really like Pinrose, which is their signature scent. It does have a rose scent, but it's a very genuine, natural sort of smelling rose. And I also really like Gilded Fox, which is definitely more of a um, warm, spicy, sort of sultry scent, but this whole set is amazing. I love playing around with it. My daughter comes down here, she's four, and she's like sniffing them all, and she's like, these smell so good. Um, so anyways, definitely recommend this set if you're looking for some new fragrances. And like I said, I have had this for probably a month, month and a half, and I use these every day, and I mean, you'd be surprised how long these little roller balls actually last you. Um, so I just think this is a great way to kind of discover the company. So anyways, just wanted to mention this. 
Okay, so let's get into the makeup. I have a whole basket full of things here I wanna talk about. I'm gonna start off with a face primer. This is by First Aid Beauty. It is their Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. You guys, this is amazing. I'm almost out of this one. It's again, something I have on my list of things to pick up. It's just become a staple in my makeup collection, in my daily routine. So I apply this to my face after I get out of the shower, before I do my makeup, and it moisturizes, but it also just really helps to prep the skin and make anything that you put on top of it look just a little extra flawless, a little more natural, a little bit smoother. It is amazing. It also says it's safe for sensitive skin, so if that's something you're concerned about. It has the slightest, slightest coconut scent, but I have to really like stick my nose in there to smell it. But I absolutely love this. It preps the skin so nicely. It helps prolong the wear of my makeup, keeps my skin nourished. I love it. And also I had some questions about whether or not First Aid Beauty is cruelty free. They are, I emailed them myself. I actually did a little blog post that I will link below. So if you wanna read the email I received from them, you can check it out. But love this and like I said, it's on my to repurchase list. Okay, for foundation, I have to recommend the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. And this, this came as kind of a surprise to me. I was at Sephora in store browsing around. I saw a whole display of these and the lady that was working there was super nice and we were playing around with them and she really kind of just sold me on these. Um, and so I picked one up. I do have drier skin. I'm a little bit wary of stick foundations. I always worry that they might be a little bit too drying, that they might stick to the dry patches on my face. That is not the case with this. This is so creamy. I've used a bunch of it. There's really not that much left. One thing I will say about this is that I definitely recommend using a blending sponge as opposed to a brush. Um, if I use a brush, I don't get quite the flawless effect that I do with a beauty sponge, but when I use a dampened beauty sponge, it's amazing. Like the coverage I would say is medium, but it wears all day. It doesn't fade, it doesn't get cakey, it doesn't look, you know, it just looks very natural, but makes your skin look very polished. And I absolutely love it. Um, I would definitely repurchase this. I have the shade Fair Light if you are curious. You can also use these as just spot concealers or contour sticks if you wanna buy you know, a couple shades darker than your natural skin tone. I was pleasantly surprised with this and I know I've watched some reviews online from girls with oilier skin who have also loved it. So I don't think it's gotten enough love on YouTube, but I am a huge fan of this and highly recommend checking it out. So next I wanted to mention the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. I love this product and you can use it in such a variety of ways. Sometimes I like to mix it with my liquid foundations. I'll just put a little pump on the back of my hand and then add a couple of pumps of my foundation, mix it together. Um, hopefully you can see on camera here. This has the most beautiful glowy sort of goddessy effect. I love, love, love mixing it with my foundation. It just gives uh, the perfect like boost of radiance to my skin. It does it does have a little bit of a coconut scent. Again, it's kind of like the First Aid Beauty Primer. It's just, it's very subtle. I need to stick my nose right in there to smell it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It will just make your foundation a little bit extra dewy and glowy and beautiful. You can also use this just on the targeted high points of your face. I have heard some people say that they use it as a straight up primer. For me, I like to kind of just mix these sort of you know, glow enhancers with my foundation, but whatever you like, there are lots of uses for this. Again, this is a pricier item, but um, you know, one that I think is definitely worth the money. I've had this for quite a while and you know, it's only down to about there. You really only need a little drop. Um, you know, I wouldn't go overboard. It is kind of powerful stuff, but a little bit just gives you the most beautiful natural glow. So definitely, definitely recommend checking these out. All right, so recently Too Faced released a new setting powder, and I have to be honest, usually I'm not a big fan of setting powders. I, I have drier skin, I'll say it a million times, and a lot of time powder just enhances my dryness. But this one had the word ethereal in it, and that kind of spoke to me. It's called the Ethereal Setting Powder. And I thought, I'm gonna give it a try. You guys, this is amazing. It is so finely milled. It's got a really cute little heart design there. So I will just kind of pat it around my face after I apply my foundation. It really does help to set my foundation, lock it in, and just keep it looking fresh all day. But it also just gives my skin this very polished look. It does have just a little bit of a glow. It's not shimmery or anything like that. Almost has just a little bit of a satin finish. It's definitely not matte and I love it. So I actually have been reaching for this 
powder on the daily because it helps prolong the wear of my foundation, like I mentioned, and I just really like the finish it gives. So this is definitely a special product because I am not a big fan of setting powders as a rule, but this is a really good one. This, I think I might have... I might have recommended this last year or maybe I purchased it at the sale last year. Anyways, it's been a favorite of mine for a while. Again, another Marc Jacobs product. I really am a fan of his line. I love the packaging, super sleek. And again, it's a pricier line, but 20% off is an amazing deal for make, make. Marc Jacobs. This is one of his soft glow duo um, air blushes and the color I have is 506 A Flesh and Fantasy and it is just a beautiful peachy nude and it has these little um, like ivory stripes in it that bring this sort of light and glow to your cheeks and it is so, so pretty. I wear this, i say 70% of the time when I'm wearing blush. This is definitely the one I reach for the most. It's just very natural. It gives you that healthy, just flush of color and it's, oh, so pretty, it's very blendable. And you can kind of, you know, you can decide if you wanna go for more of the natural sort of mauve tones or the glowy, you know, highlighter side. You could actually just use this as a highlighter as well. But I kind of focus a little more on this side where there's more rosy tones. I apply it to my cheeks, I have it on today, and I just think it is such a stunning color. I absolutely love it. Okay, so I have a couple highlighters that I wanted to mention. The first one is by Becca. I love Becca's pressed highlighters. They're just one of my favorite formulations. I know they're very popular. You guys are probably already familiar with them, but they're just so darn pigmented. They're smooth, they're long wearing. I mean, Becca is kind of known for their like, like really bright, intense highlighters. This one is definitely my favorite. It is in the shade Champagne Dream. So it's champagne and it flashes Bellini and it's got this gorgeous kind of rose gold shift. This is so pretty. I have it on my cheeks today. I've had this makeup on for several hours now, so I'm not sure exactly how intense it is, but this is so, so beautiful. Maybe I'll just add a little bit more because more is more with highlighter, right? The prettiest finish. I absolutely love this and I love that it is a very universal sort of shade. I think anyone from very light to darker skin tones could wear this and just look absolutely amazing. So definitely, definitely recommend checking out this. I do have one more highlighter and I know that not everyone is going to be a fan of this because it is a stick cream consistency, um, but uh, there's something special about this. I really, really do enjoy it. It's by Nude Sticks. Over the past couple months, I feel like I've really embraced more of a natural sort of makeup look, and this has been something that I've been reaching for a lot. What is it called? Illuminati, like naughty, like naughty or nice. I like to just dip my finger in it and then tap it very lightly along the tops of my cheekbones. And there's just something so gorgeous about this. The only thing that I will say is that this definitely has more of a glossy finish. So if you are super oily, you may not, this may not interest you, but if you're on the drier side and you want a little bit of that dewy look to your skin, this is absolutely stunning. I've also heard people say that they use it on their eyes. If you want that like glossy eye look, I have put it in the center of my lip and on my cupid's bow. It's just one of those like multi-purpose items and I really, really enjoy it. So wanted to mention that. So I grabbed two eyes eyeshadow palettes that I wanted to share with you guys. The first one is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I reach for this so much and I just, I, I really like it, you guys. These two little rows here on the side are just, you know, your everyday neutrals and I will use those a lot, but I'm also a big fan of peach shades. I wore this one called Just Peachy a lot in the summer. And then over here, you've got some darker shades if you wanna do like a smoky eye or just play around with some color. I really, really like this palette. I also really like the color Luscious, which is right up here. Um, of course, it smells like peaches, but I'm just a big fan of Too Faced eyeshadow palettes anyways. The chocolate bar palettes were my favorites for years, and recently, I've just really been loving this. I think it's super cute, but it's also just a really nice pigmented, blendable, you know, just well-formulated palette, and so I did want to mention it, especially because 20% off is a great time. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Okay, the other palette that I wanted to mention, actually these, I have two of them here, but the one that I would recommend most would be the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette, the original. If you just want a beautiful palette full of neutral matte shades, this is the one. It's so pretty, it's laid out so nicely. I mean, you can mix and match 
the colors however you want, but they do lay them out in little quads for you to make everything really easy and straightforward. These are so pigmented, so blendable, and just universal shades that I think would flatter so many different people. I love pulling this palette when I'm using another palette that doesn't have a lot of mattes in it. It, it sits on my vanity most of the time. Um, and also, I did also just want to mention the kind of companion palette to this one, which is the Shade and Light, um, what, what was this called? Shade and Light Glimmer Eye. So these are all um, satins, shimmers, and glitter shades, just like the original, but you know, with a different finish. So um, both of these are amazing. I would definitely recommend the matte one first. I think you'll probably get the most wear out of this one, but if you already have it and you want a really nice complimentary palette to go with it, definitely recommend this one. I have a whole video on this palette and kind of comparing it to this one. I'll link it below if you want more information, but Kat Von D has done such a phenomenal job with her makeup line and I absolutely love everything I've tried. Um, so yeah, these palettes are, I love them, absolutely love them. Okay, so finally I have a few lip products. I had a ton, you guys, and I narrowed it down to like four, I could've went crazy, I love, I love lip products, but I narrowed it down to the four that I reached for the most. The first one I wanna talk about is actually the color I have on my lips right now. This is one of the Hourglass Lip Stylos, and I have the shade Dreamer. Such a beautiful, just everyday color. This will pair with any, any eye look at all. Um, it's just a really gorgeous peachy pink shade. Just a beautiful neutral kind of nudie. Oh, it's so pretty, I love it. I love nudes that have that little bit of a peachy tone to them and this is just absolutely perfect. Um, super comfortable on the lips. It feels, it feels highly moisturizing and it's got a bit of a glossy finish, which I really do like. I'm more of a glossy satin finish kind of girl than a mackerel, at least at the moment. You know, my mind changes all the time, but right now I really like that kind of, you know, glossy look. So these are amazing. They are a little bit pricier, of course, but I'm recommending them now because 20% off is a great deal. I definitely would consider picking up another one of these. I've got to investigate the colors. If you guys have any of these that you really love, please leave me a comment and let me know. Okay, I have two more lipsticks that I wanted to mention. The first one is from Urban Decay, and this is from their, I think this is called their Vice line. Um, it comes in this really beautiful gunmetal and yellow gold packaging. And specifically, I wanted to recommend this shade. This is one of their shears, and it's called Tantric. I think it's a bestseller for them. It is a sheer, so like there's not a ton of color payoff, but this just adds this element of pretty to your lips. It just looks so stunning. It has a bit of a satiny finish and it just, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And I think this looks really pretty on top of almost any lip liner. So you can definitely play around with it and you know, deepen it up with different lip liners or you just wanna use it as a topper, you could do that as well. I like to wear this alone or I'll use a very like, natural kind of nude liner and then apply this on top and it just it looks so so pretty there's something special about this color um i really love it so i will have all of these linked below for you guys of course but this is a really really good um just you know lipstick to have in your collection okay also i wanted to mention this one this one is from tarte and it's from their color splash line um and this is in the shade pink lemonade first of all the packaging is gorgeous i love this blue sort of marbleized effect um, and again, this is a very sort of neutral peachy pink. So pretty, I love nude peachy pinks, of course. Either that or I love a bright red lip, but you know, right now I'm in the mood for nudes. Again, very comfortable, doesn't dry out my lips. Um, it, it actually wears for quite a long time too, which I'm not one who um, has a lot of luck with lipstick lasting for hours and hours, but this one does seem to stick around for a little bit longer than some of my others. So anyway, wanted to mention that, specifically this color Pink Lemonade. If you want some really nice neutral lipsticks, this is a great one. If you guys want me to do a whole video on my favorite like nude lipsticks, let me know, I would be happy to do that. So that is it, I think. I could have kept going, but I wanted to kind of just like stick to my absolute favorite products. 
So those are definitely the products that I reach for very regularly and that I would definitely recommend that I feel are really great quality that are worth the money and especially, you know, worth investing in um, when you can get them for 20% off. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment below and let you guys know what your recommendations are or what your wish list is. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, and don't forget to check out Melanie and Lisa's video. Thank you to you girls for collabing with me again. I always love doing this video. Thanks so much for being here, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye.